Welcome, Keith Eichley here, founder and CEO of NextGen REI. And I wanna share with you the truth about real estate investing, and that is that the money is not made when you buy. That's right, many of you probably heard, oh, the money's made when you buy. It's not true at all. In fact, the money's actually made when you sell. When you buy right, yes, you have the best chance of making money. However, the money's not made when you buy, it is only made when you sell, and I'm gonna prove it to you. And this is one of the myths that's out there that causes so many investors to lose money. And for many people, they, uh, they lose money on their very first deals and they never get into real estate investing and they miss out on the incredible wealth that real estate can build. So I'm gonna take you through uh, and prove to you why the money is actually not made when you buy. And you do that by understanding a concept of what's called the deal wheel. And I'm gonna take you through, prove it to you, and then at the very end, I'm gonna show you how do you use this information to your advantage so as an investor, you can actually invest smarter than everyone else and actually increase your odds of making even more money, grow faster, grow your wealth faster. So let's go ahead and jump into it. When you think about real estate investing, the first thing that you have to do is you actually have to find a potential opportunity. So that's our little house out here. So we've got to go out and find that particular property. Once you find that property, one of the hardest steps in real estate investing is coming up and making the right offer and having the understanding of the different strategies and structures to make offers. Quite honestly, that is the hardest part in my opinion. Finding the property is actually really easy. In fact, some of our other trainings, I'll show you how to find thousands of no money down real estate investment properties right in your very backyard. So check out our other video on that here on this channel. Um, but making the offer is a very, very important part. It sets up you know, your, your position for the entire uh, property, but uh, and some people think that that's why you have to buy right and that's where the money's made, but it's not, as you'll see here. Once you make the offer, all right, the next thing that happens is you have to come up with what we call the seed money. And the seed money, all right, is the next step, and the seed money is the money that you need to put down on that property. So this could be your uh, option payment if you're doing a rent to own. It could be your down payment uh, or earnest money if you're actually buying a property outright or your down payment uh, when you actually go to close. Uh, your seed money could be as simple as a $100 contract because you're gonna wholesale a property outward. So that's, that's what we call your seed money. Now once you have your seed money, then we move into what we call our core financing. So your core financing, and what this is, is a lot of times you're actually gonna need to get a loan from, a, from the bank maybe, or you might get hard money lenders that are actually gonna lend you the bulk of the money. So here's an example. Let's say you went to an auction. An auction is gonna require that you come up with cash to, uh, to take the, you know, control of that property and you know, get the title. Well, a few hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars of seed money is not gonna get you that property at the auction. So you need to have what we call the core financing. That again, that's the, you know, the full purchase price for the home. Um, on a more traditional sale, you don't necessarily have to come up with just cash for that. You could uh, get loans from the bank. So if you put a certain amount down, your seed money, a down payment, then the bank will lend you the rest of the, another 70, 80, 90% on investment, sometimes 95 even, depending on your relationships and how experienced you are. So that's your core financing. So you've gotta, you get your seed money, you get your core financing, and then once you have your core financing, this takes us to the next piece which is our renovations. All right, now I have never picked up a property, an investment property that did not need something in the realm of renovations. I mean, this could be as simple as changing a few light bulbs, maybe a broken doorbell, or could be a complete gut job on a property, complete remodel. Um, it all can vary, and that renovation requires its own set of you know, additional capital sometimes when you invest, your, your lenders will give you a, a loan, a construction loan to do all the renovations. Sometimes you might have private investors that are lending to you to do the renovations. But here's a big problem in real estate, and this is where a lot of things fall down. This part right here, if you're doing renovations, depending on the scale of the renovations, this is where the whole thing can just completely break down. Now there are lots of shows on you know, HGTV and Flip This House, et cetera, and they'll show how simple it is to make money in real estate, and, and I don't know, I believe all those numbers that they share in terms of the profits they're making. But the one part that I will tell you is pretty consistent in those shows is that 
when things go wrong. There's always something that goes wrong. The minute you start taking down walls and you start getting into the roots, you're going to find something else wrong. This adds a few factors into the equation that you may not have accounted for up front. You've got uh, extended market time, which means your holding costs for all your loans uh, eats up. It starts eating into your profits. The work that needs to be done for these changes uh, that you didn't expect eats into your profits. And then lastly, the market can change. When you bought that property, there may have been nothing else for sale in the marketplace. Now all of a sudden, you've got five other homes up and they're all underpriced. So your, your original thinking of what you could sell it for now all of a sudden shifted. Or maybe now you've, you found yourself in a pandemic and now the pricing that you thought was gonna work is no longer the same pricing here. So the longer it takes you to get through renovations, the more risk you put on to your ability to make money. So it doesn't matter what you bought it for. If you go back to your offer, back right here where you made your offer, right? That offer doesn't matter anymore because if you found things that, that you didn't expect, that offer that you did that looked like a great offer and a great deal no longer is a great deal. Getting the offers right is the hardest part, which is why you know, we work very, very careful with investors to help them understand and, and make offers that protect and minimize their risk. So always make sure you're doing that. Okay, so once you do your renovations, the next step is you've gotta be, move this out now that the renovations are done and find yourself your buyer, all right? So now you've gotta find a buyer for the property. Now I will clarify, when I use the term buyer in, in the space here of the deal wheel, a buyer is not maybe even just somebody who might purchase a property. It could be a lease. Maybe you took over this property to rent it out, or maybe you wanted to make it an Airbnb. So it could be your short-term rentals. You might have moved it into a, become a, uh, a um, residential assisted living center. So all of these are types of buyers. So you're selling your lease or you're selling the property outright. Uh, that's, that's what I mean by buyer. So don't think of the traditional, they're gonna actually just purchase and get title. It could be anyone along those lines. Okay, so here's what happens. It's once you find your buyer, this is when you actually make money. It's at the end of that deal wheel. Does that make sense? It's not until you actually put in that tenant, put in that Airbnb, or put the property up onto the Airbnb platform and start generating uh, short-term rentals until you find that actual you know, new buyer that's gonna purchase and move into the property. It's not until then. This is where the money is made, guys, right here when you find that buyer. So the money, it doesn't matter. You might have bought the property and if it took you a year instead of three months to get it sold, you could have lost your entire profits no matter how great of a purchase price you got when you bought the property. Is that making sense? And then what happens is now that you've actually sold the property, this is when you have more seed money available to you to start the process all over again. So there you have it, guys. That's why the money is not made when you buy. The money's actually made when you sell after you complete the deal will going through this process from start to finish, from finding a property, making the offer, putting down seed money, getting any core financing you might need, completing any renovations, then marketing the property to actually get yourself a buyer of the property as a sale or a lease. That's when the money's made, and then you have seed money to start all over again. Now, I promised you I would share with you a secret that will help you buy smarter than everyone else. One of the ways to minimize, to minimize your risk in any real estate transaction is this. You're gonna shorten the time that you put seed money down to getting your buyer. If you can shorten this window, this right here is the secret making that window as short as possible from seed money to final buyer having it sold. And there's a few ways that you can do that. One way is through a process called wholesaling. So a lot of times what people do is they'll be in wholesaling, which means they put $100 or some amount, small amount down on a, on a contract on a property. That's their seed money. And then they sell that contract off to an investor who wants to finish the rest of that, that cycle, the rest of the deal wheel. 
Now, all of a sudden, they've already sold. Their buyer is the buyer of the contract, not the property, buying the rights to complete the deal will. So they get their money instantly. And that's a way to make money faster and minimize your risk. The downside to this, though, is it's really hard to build wealth in that scenario because you're not making nearly as much as, as those that are doing the renovations and or holding it long term as an investment. You're not building your portfolio of wealth. And it ends up always becoming a job, if that makes sense. It gets stuck moving from one property to the next to the next. So you certainly can do wholesale. What I like to do, though, is I like to actually have um, uh, my buyers already lined up as either before I acquire the property or uh, shortly thereafter. And I do this a lot of times through a process called rent to own. I'll actually sell the property to what we call tenant buyers in advance. So I already know I've got a buyer lined up. So I might have some work to do and some renovations, but it's already sold. No matter what, my, I, I know what I'm selling it for, who's going to buy it, when they're going to take over possession, and I get control of, of, uh, of the, the timeline and the amount of profits that you can make on a particular transaction. Now, a lot of people don't know how that process works. We've got some training for you coming right afterwards, how to find uh, rent to own uh, properties or properties that you can acquire with little to no money down. We've also, I'm going to share with you how I made $35,000 off $100 using this same process. So on top of shortening the cycle uh, from getting from seed money to the buyer, we can also minimize our out of pocket in the transaction and still own it, still control it. So if you want to learn more about actually how to do this, how to find those properties, how to have systems to bring in those rent to own buyers in advance so you can minimize that cycle time, uh, you could certainly watch that on our channel, but we've also put together for you, uh, consolidated all into this uh, a package called Behind the Scenes of Next Gen Real Estate Investing. I'm going to give you free access just for watching this video right here. Just click the link below, and it will open up your mind to how you can invest in real estate differently. So there you have it, guys. This is the truth about real estate investing, that the money is not made when you buy, but in fact, it's made when you sell, and you want to learn how to minimize the risk, shorten the cycle to getting uh, through that deal wheel. And if you do that and do that the right way, you will minimize your out of pocket and increase the return on almost every one of your investors because so many people are losing money. So I've got another video queued up for you coming up next. I'm going to show you how you can acquire multiple properties with a small amount of money so you can build your wealth faster using the concept of shortening the deal wheel. So go ahead and check that out. And if you like the content that you learned here today, do me a favor and click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever we publish more content to our channel. Thanks for joining here today.